Hello, 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 hello. Good evening. This is part time senpai, and it's been a while since I have done my last motor vlog. My last release was like May. It's now mid December. Uh, by the time you watch this motor vlog, it should reach you somewhere in January, hopefully. If that's the case, Happy New Year! Happy 2022! I hope you guys had a great 2021. Let's not kid ourselves, uh, 2021 was just as bad, but oh, VTL man, VTL. Is something to cheer about, I guess. So, f first of all, why haven't I been doing motor vlogs? Uh, mainly because I have no topics. Uh, probably the topics that I want to do have all been talked about. Uh, I wanted to do how to buy new, how to buy motorcycle. I wanted to do like uh, motorcycle maintenance. I want to do reviews, but I'm I'm not good at doing reviews. I'm not good that good at asking questions. So I've been searching, searching a lot of uh, topics that I want to do and I, I realized there's actually one topic maybe maybe I haven't, haven't seen it maybe somebody has done it before but I haven't seen it there's one topic that nobody has done before and that is how to make it easy for yourself to own a motorcycle I hope the wind noise is not too loud ah. I've uh, upgraded a bit of my equipment, audio, especially audio equipment since my last uh, motor vlog. How to actually make your life easier when you own your motorcycle. These are just some tips and suggestions. Okay, first of all, most HTV homeowners would have already known this. Concessionary season parking. If you own a HTV, you would have a chance to get concessionary season parking for your motorcycle. This uh, concessionary season parking is not just for your own car park. It's basically free parking for motorcycles across all HTV car parks or public car parks. It's actually plus two dollars more than your normal season parking but you get to park all over Singapore but the only drawback is that it's only limited to one motorcycle let's say you own uh, three you can only buy it for one of your motorcycles the, the other two you have to buy season uh. let's say weekend you want to go shopping centre but shopping centre parking $1.36, $1.39, some shopping centre don't even offer you motorcycle parking so what do you do? for me right I find the adjacent HDB car park and then I park there and then I walk to the shopping centre even those HTV park, car park uh, that says no weekend parking concessionary parking next tip fuel cards okay you are gonna tell me don't need fuel card uh, go, go, can go JV pump uh. brother now border close I tell you, I'm guilty of it also. Sometimes I will also go JB and buy cheap fuel. Weekends, sometimes every day go and pump. 
But now, because it's pandemic, we are we are essentially blocked off from Malaysia. Some of these fuel cards offer up to 20, 21%, 22% of fuel purchases. So you might want to go and look out for them. All major fuel stations in uh, Singapore offer some sort of fuel saving card uh, that's probably tied, tied to a bank. For me, I'm using Caltex, the star card. I, I've been using it for quite a while already. So I've pretty much only pumped Caltex. You probably only need one. Look into fuel cards and see what kind of offering they have, you know, what kind of discounts they have. You know, it will make your life easier. Especially if you ride motorcycles every day. So now I'm making a U-turn. Go back home. Next! Next thing to make your motorcycle ship uh, motorcycle ownership motorcycle ship motorcycle ownership easier scheduled maintenance keep a record of your motorcycle maintenance the exact mileage that you change for even for your clutch cable for your brake breathing everything that is uh, expendable Engine oil, oil filter, brake pads, tires, uh, tires. Lock down all the numbers and go ahead and find out how long those parts last. Uh, for engine oil, very easy. Uh, 3, 4K. Then for your throttle cable, class cable. Uh, it's usually uh, between 20 to 30k if you may do a maintenance lock you face lesser breakdowns you won't completely eliminate breakdowns on the road but i i realize right uh, once i maintain a clear lock of uh, all the things that i've changed for my bike over the years right uh, when I do some calculations, like I, I know, okay, my brake pad, maybe 10,000 only, I'm reaching 9,000 currently already. So probably when I go for my next maintenance, engine oil, all this, I will change it together with my engine oil. It doesn't have to be a physical lock. Uh, for me, I... I have a lot on my Evernote. I use Evernote to record down all the numbers, when to change. So every time I go to the workshop, right, I take out my Evernote. I see, hey, uh, yeah, oh, reaching this number already, I better change. To face a, a lot less breakdowns. That's all I, I have uh, for you guys. And I hope you all like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. I hope to do more vlogs. That's all for me. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.